Greetings and welcome to Let's Play Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars. So we got uh, well, down here in this lovely area which has a little... It has a lion head. Oh, hello Mr. Lion. From a distance the lion's head had been impressive. Close up it was frightening. Hey, one of the fangs is a separate piece. Okay. I could hear the sound of a lot of stone moving, and I knew I was in danger. Danger! I brought. Ooh. Good. <laughs> oh, very funny, you psychos! Senior Stoba! Senior Stoba! Are you alright? It's okay, Lopez, I'm fine! Hey, Susto, mira, Dada! You gave me a scare! Nice try, Templars. He's a smart guy. I wish that I had Leary's flashlight now. It was too dark to see and I had to rely on touch. It just felt like a pitted stone wall. I'd almost been killed for the sake of a red herring. Don't we have... we have nothing? Really? I wish that I... it was... I don't... Hmm. We need a flashlight? Sometime in antiquity, there'd been a rock slide. Big ones. I wish I'd had a hard hat. Maybe I need something. It was a long way down. The brilliant midday sun shone almost directly down the shaft, and I still couldn't see the water. That's not good. Hmm. But we need something. Do, do you have a flashlight? Flashlight. I always have a flashlight. Got a minute? Certainly, senor. How can I help you? It's really dark down there. Do you have a flashlight or something? No. I broke my torch only last month. Wait. It's so bright up here, but the light's just not getting into the corners. See? The light, it goes in straight lines. Is this a hint? Catch you later, Lopez. Adios. You know, that, that's again that what bothers me with adventure games. You know, I would go into my car and buy a flashlight. But no, I have to do some stupid stick stuff now. I mean, you could put a... Take a piece of cloth. I, I've been playing forest with Gilvan the whole day. You just take a stick, put some cloth around it, and put the cloth on fire. Done. <laughs> I don't know. Take this here. I wasn't going to put on the armor, and I couldn't see anything else to do with it. It was a small mirror hanging over the sink. Oh, now we can take it. Last time he was just like, I'll just look at it. So we take the mirror and do something. I realized I could use the mirror to reflect the light from above. Yeah, that's going to help. This little mirror. There. In the middle of the door, I could see some kind of socket. It looked like this wasn't quite the dead end it seemed. Use the key with the socket? Maybe? I slid the stone key into the lock. There were buttons that turned the dials. Okay. I must have made a mistake. The lock spun back to neutral and nearly took my fingers off. I was going to have to start from scratch again. What do you want from me? A reap. Ah. 
I want it outside of the inscriptions where the new worlds. At the top, to the left, to the right, and along the bottom. How is this going to help me? I'm pretty sure it isn't. <laughs> So along with the numeral worlds, so 14 and whatever that means, something with 27. Okay, let's try this. Do we have 14? X, E, F, B. No. Maybe this. I heard the sounds of the lock moving. Either that or the wall was going to come down on my head. Okay. X, X, V, E, E. <laughs> I know it's 27 or something, but fuck it. X, X. Okay. Then at the top, V I at the bottom. Okay. L X X X I. L X X X Okay. Three and one to the right. to the right, okay. Uh, 17. Gosh, is that slow? So glad that he wrote us down. Oh yes! Now bonus points for that, I hope. I knew the old Stobart finger work wouldn't let me down. <laughs> really? 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 The old Stobart finger work. Ugh. Hi. Before I left, though, there was one last thing to do. What, really? <laughs> it felt like something you is missing. You won't be needing that replacement piece anymore, Countess. I found it with the children. You'll probably want to be alone for a while. I'll be out in the garden with Lopez. <laughs> she looks like... What? Who is that man? George! Welcome back. Come in, George. It's good to see you again. Is it? Ooh. Ah. Sure. What did you find in Spain? 
Without Andre, we wouldn't have got this far, George. Yeah, I know. The clues led to an underground chamber at the bottom of a well. The Templars had left a tapestry showing a chessboard. The white pieces were vastly outnumbered. There was a stream running across the board, and a Templar knight on a horse. Does it mean anything to you, Andre? No, nothing. Maybe we should tell Andre what else you found, Georges. There's a map and a Latin inscription to the west at the edge of the world. Georges found that in a cave in Syria. Yeah, where the assassin almost killed me. Then we've got the burning of Jacques de Molay and the date, 1314. From the window of the church in Montfaucon Square, one of the few places where nobody tried to kill me. <laughs> then we have the image of a church that Georges found at the excavation. I don't recall anyone trying to kill you there either, Georges. And finally we have the tapestry in Spain. Did I mention I almost got killed there? <laughs> Not yet, but I'm sure you're about to. It was only my cat-like reflexes that saved me from certain death. Cat-like reflexes, eh? <coughs> and while I was risking life and limb, where were you, Andre? Getting your glasses fogged up over an Etruscan vase? But That's enough, boys. Can we get back to saving the world? What? Of course. Why does my hate apologies. Each other so he started it. Just because well, of her? Well, the Latin phrase are the words of Julius Caesar. He was describing the island of Britain. Are you sure? The map didn't look much like Britain. How come Caesar described Britain as being at the edge of the world? To the Romans, the Mediterranean was the center of the universe. Britain was a remote, unfriendly place, inhabited by blue-painted savages. It hasn't changed much. <laughs> They've stopped painting themselves blue. Except when they go to a football match. They used an extract from a plant called Woad, Isetis tinctoria. The Scots were using it until fairly recently in the wars with the English. Fairly recently? I don't recall the Scots being at war with the English. How recently are you talking about? I believe William Wallace's men used it in the 13th century. They might well have been using it as late as... Uh... You can't remember, can you? 1314. Ah, we're back onto that, are we? Andre, what is it? What do you mean? 1314 in Scotland. The Battle of Bannockburn. That would explain the stream on the chessboard. That's what a burn is. Right, Andre? As in Bannockburn? What? Right, George. And it gets better. Tradition has it that the Scots were helped by a shock force of... Uh, well, can't you guess? Nuts Templar? Yes, a group of outlawed Templars. They are said to have turned the tide for the Scots. And it all ends at a church in the Isle of Britain at Bannockburn in a church. What are we waiting for? I'll call a cab. I can't go. <laughs> Andre, you've been loads of help, but... What George is trying to say is that you shouldn't feel guilty. He had a I was. We voice. understand you've got commitments. But listen, we have to hurry. Let's go, George. We'll see it through. Oh, and uh, don't worry about us. Gosh, you haven't seen her in ages. You you haven't seen her at all. You act like I don't know. Bullcrap. Let me save you real quick. What is with these things? Did I unlock something that I haven't unlocked before? I can't save. Pardon me. She no. must be deaf. Yes, my dear. That's a pretty Do you know what time we're due in Sterling? A quarter to six, but we're running eight minutes late. You have a pretty uh, big chin. Do you know Sterling well? Yes, I do. Is that where you two lovebirds are bound? Yeah, we... It's one of the places we thought we'd see on our holiday. Be sure to visit the castle, won't you? Oh, I'm sure it's a neat place. But we are not really interested in history, are we, George? Uh, no. Is there a church called St. Ninian's at Sterling? Yes, there is. And I know why you're going there. Mm? You do? Of course I do. It's obvious you're in love. You're eloping. And they say romance is dead. What's the book you're reading? Oh, it's something I've picked up at the station. A medieval detective story. Quite well written for that kind of thing. It's been out of print for years. What's the title of the book? 
The Crooked Crusader Caper by Molly Pegram. What? I assumed the author was a woman, but apparently not. His real name is... Professor Nigel Pegram. That's right. Do you know him? No, I never met him. George is a great fan of it, though. Would you believe that this clown's nose led us to being on this train tonight? I would indeed. No, honestly, it... You would? Certainly. You have an honest face. Yep. That's a nose with a history, all right. So you said. Does the name Merlin mean anything to you? Merlin? A master of illusions. Oh, you said Merlin? Then Merlin? No, nothing. Do you know what this is? Yes, I do. <laughs> a young friend of mine shook my hand with one just the other day. Yeah? Well, that's outrageous. He should be shot. Perhaps. Still, his intentions were good. I'm sorry that you've been zapped by one of these things. You shouldn't be. Really? The only other thing I can do is do this. Where are you going, Josh? Do I need to spell it out? Don't snap at me! If you're going to take a leak, why don't you say so? Okay, I'm going to take a leak. L-E-A-K. Tickets, please. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. We don't have tickets. That's a standard full-price peak return. Don't you have a senior citizen's rail card? I rarely travel by train. My ticket is perfectly valid, is it not? Well, yeah, but you could have saved up to a third of the cost. I do not need to indulge in puffling thriftiness. What? Limey. You're a funny old bird, and no mistake. Tickets, please, sir. Here. Off to Sterling, eh? Yes, we are. Well, I hope you won't be disappointed. It's a miserable place this time of year. Still, there's plenty she of pops like she's getting and a, a lovely view you from the castle. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't want to worry you, but... There was something familiar about that guy. Are you sure? You're tired. Perhaps you're mistaken. Hmm. Maybe. But I didn't like the look in his eyes when he spoke to you. So can I take a leak now? Can't you sit still, George? God damn it, I need woman. to go to the John. While you're there, check out the buffet car, George. Unthinkable though it is, I am uncle enough to eat English food. Okay. Having a party? No. This is Brettus. Come on, join us, man. Where, Basha? Wake up, man. What's company? His breath was like the outlet from a chemical factory. Excuse me, mate. He's taking a nap. Sleeping like a bobby. I'd wake him up when we get to Newcastle. We passed through Newcastle half an hour ago. And I never noticed. <coughs> what is that stuff you're drinking? It smells like gasoline. Really? Now put hairs in your chest, Lake. And your eyeballs, too, by the looks of you. Would you like a red nose? No, thanks, pal. I got one of my own. Have you ever seen this man before? Aye, man. He's chalky white, and I claim my ten quid, Lake. No, he's an international assassin, and he goes by the name Khan. Well, I, man, but I was close, you know. Not really. Do you know what this is? No, man, what is it? It's a hand buzzer. You won't catch me out with that, pal. If I'd wanted to catch you out, I wouldn't have shown it to you, would I? Well, maybe it's his mate, pal. Like a clever double bluff, you know? See you later. <laughs> it's off to safe. <laughs> Ooh, 90%. We are getting close. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we will see each other soon. So take care and hit the like button.